Hello and welcome to the final episode of Motorsport Manager with Levenston Motors, at least for this season, at season 5. We are at the final race, which is the Black Sea. We did, ra we did race here last year, because uh, this is a race in the Asia Pacific Cup and the Euro, the Euro, the Euro League, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> That's a great start. We are second and likely to finish second. We can't win it, but we're never going to. I thought we would have finished like, down here. Like, we'll get like 10 points. But we've blitzed that. <laughs> Best of the rest. Unless Ruiz pull off, a, off a, a good result here. It is double points, so we can drop to about fourth. Which, even though we would get less money, will prob probably be the better result. Because then we can get a lower objective next season. Because now I'm basically going to have to go for top three. Um, which we're only doing because we've got the uh, top, top, top ends in game boxes. Top three. Our rule breaking parts are our top. But we can't use them. Suspension will also be spec next year, so our weakest part will go away. We do need to work on the brakes. Uh, I tried to build a rear wing before the end of the season, uh, but um, we're going to run out of time, I think. So that was basically a waste of money. But I'll live. Oh, that's great. Heavy rain, heavy rain, clear. <laughs> so, I'm going to go for sixth place again. Because we, we, t we typically get top six. The danger with that is um, if we take. 10th place, we're going to get it. <laughs> and it is the Black Sea that is... I'm, I'm going to play it safe, actually, and get to the guarantee for 100,000. I'm not... I mean, qualifying, we might get top six, but the actual race, I'm not convinced there's going to be, like, no crashing or anything. So who knows what's going to happen. The Russian Grand Prix can be quite unpredictable. Unfortunately, it's the suspension that is crucial. The front, the front wing, ours are both bad. And the uh, top speed, which we do have. So, there's no new parts to put on our cars we can race. So, we will have set up some last year, but they probably won't... They probably won't uh, be valid now. I'll have to replace them, we'll see. But that's for me to worry about in practice. So I'm going to take practice and I will see you for qualifying. That is the end of qualifying. I just missed out on number three qualifying trim and medium tyres, but what are you going to do? We do get the top two spots, but I made sure to go out like as early as possible to get it. Because it does get, I think it, give, it might give you a morale boost. Doesn't really matter in the long run anyway. Uh, the good news is Wilmore only down, down in six. Now, I believe Engelhart can win the drivers and therefore definitely save his job with, that, with, with us. But in his pole position, and to come first, and for Wilmore to basically not get any points. Because the most points you can get with double points is four for pole position. I believe another 24 for winning. I think it's 12 points normally for first place. So you can get 28. You can get 28, I don't, where, where are, uh, how far behind, 17. So he needs basically maximum points here. And then we'll, one more finishes down in like the bottom bottom section of the points. But the driver's championship is still on. I don't believe the driver's the, the team is. You can get 28. Actually, I think it is. I think the team, the team championship is technically winnable. If I got my points right. But we need Chari not to get any uh, any points. <laughs> In effect. If it happens, I would be shocked. Uh, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> don't get your hopes up. Uh, qualifying trim will be soft. I do need to uh, delete this one. So that is not anywhere near what we need now. Right, Makarova. 
I almost forgot weight stripping. A good job I just randomly remembered. Uh, Bark C. Obviously softs, it's qualifying. I'm not going to use that for the race because this track is quite hard on the tyres. Very hard. Uh, Engelhart. A black C. Got to do the right stripping now before I forget. Hit you down into the 60s. Do the same for you, 75. I'm going to touch these because he's still low. So our gearbox is 914. So Engelhart should be able to tip that and fly off the track. Probably, literally, and, cr and crash is probably what's going to happen here. He likes to, like, he likes to crash and go wide. So same strategy as always, it's short quality and fine sessions I think, so go out straight away and go out at the end, that way you get, you get a guaranteed two stints. This is a short track though, which should be good for us because our gearbox will come into play, because acceleration will, will be quite key. And we'll take qualifying. Send out Macaro first, because that's who I picked. And send out Engelhart just behind her. Really, Engelhart's got the faster car. He probably should have gone out first there, ideally. But what are you going to do? So Engelhart racing for his. You see, uh, in the European series, we go around there and come back over the ridge. This is a much shorter track. It's a very short track, actually. Of eating and perfect. I didn't see Engelhart's, actually. So, Makarova or Engelhart will set the fastest time. Engelhart is being beaten by his, by his teammate. Who will my world take pole position? Manga gets above us as well. That'll win more and more the title. A bad qualifying session for us, actually. That's very poor. That is very, very poor. We need better. We need better, guys. Just send them back out. Shit, there's rain. Yeah, we need it. We need it better. <laughs> we're not going to get it. You might as well bring you in, you can't do it on that. We're actually not even in the top 10, guys. That is terrible. You need to go out on Inters and hope for the best. It's a very good job I've gone for the lower objective. This is a piss poor start, piss poor end to the season. 12th and 14th is outright unacceptable. It really is. People are going on wet, so that's not the right call. Mark Rover doesn't improve on her time. Angle out. We might even miss out on our objective. That, that'd be insane. Yeah, we're not going to improve because it's wet. That is a pathetic qualifying. It has to be said. Just alright, pathetic. Oh, we lost out on a lot of money there. That's unfortunate. I thought this track would actually benefit us, but our suspension is that low. Our front wing is that low, it's uh, actually hindered us. I think in the race we can... Uh, we can make this up, but congratulations to Wilmore. He wins the Drivers' Championship with that pole position. He's now got an insurmountable lead, uh, barring in crashing. I don't think Engelai getting top, but he can still get 24 points. And he's in like 21 head, so we miss out on our, it's pathetic. End of the day, Engelhart let us down.
You've got your best car on the grid with the rubber, with the rubber banding, with the weight stripping, and you come 14th. That is pathetic. That is terrible, Engelhart. You can win the Drivers' Championship and you come 14th. What's wrong with you? Of course, if we get lucky, there'll actually be rain in the race, but there wasn't any predicted. 41 laps. Uh, medium tyres. Race trim for you. Race trim and nurse perk. Uh, we need the mediums. Because those... those uh, I mean, we actually are at least two-stopping. In fact, I don't think these can even go... Th I think she's three-stopping. Because it's 11 laps. Yeah, yeah. So, we know... Makarova is three stopping, but I will keep her fueled up because that means last chance of a mistake. Engelhart can just about make by on the mediums. So probably aggressive with Makarova, not as aggressive with, with Engelhart. And try and have like a long medium stint, middle stint. But we're down in the in the rafters here. Macro over 12th, angle like 14th. Poor from both of them. They should be up here. <laughs> like T and Kirov, they should be beating S Spirit around us. But this could cost us two places in the in the in the team standing as well. And it's five red lights for the Russian Grand Prix and the end of the season. Post that by both drivers. Mikhailovic gets past Makarova. Makarova, Mac really bad start. And looking look to overtake. He has the better car for this type of track, I do believe. Someone's gone wide, who's that? Lundqvist. Well, if we were high up the pecking order, that would be great. Because that's, uh, that's Chariot. But Wilma's got Paul, so he's going to take off. He's, he's probably he should be winning this race for the most part. See, this is what I mean. We've got a better car than the guys in front. Stupid Ruiz, get out of my way. Macrover gets by. This is what we need. They're blocking off Engelhart though. That's not good for Engelhart. Trapping him in though. Working as a team. Engelhart gets by in the end. Macrover moving up the grin now. Hang that trying, but you can see how poor brakes here. We have to brake quite early, which is the uh, the problem. But you can see there, like on, on the straights, our gearbox is 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 showing its strength. And that's going to go to medium. We're three laps in, we're already through our tyres. That's twelve laps. That's not enough. Macarova will keep going though, we're going to be aggressive with her. And despite that, she can't defend too well against uh, Engelhart. Engelhart is going to get by here. And uh, Mikhailovic is going to try and follow Engelhart past his own teammate, but he can't do it. I think Mikhailovic is, is male. Yeah, he is. Engelar up into ninth. We are playing the long game. Makarova is going to get tenth here from the looks of it. No, no, she has to break early. Kanjiro keeps tenth position. So we are still second overall, although this is a very bad race. The qualifying has really let us down. But you can see those on the softs are already going to suffer. So we can make some ground here. We are looking at a two-stop. Oh, the, the, the track's quite cold, so we have to push at some point to get some heat into the tyres. That Makarova's actually dropping. We don't want that. That's Lungvis, so he's got a fast car. So we'll fight him actually, because that will benefit. Well, I say that, and he immediately gets by us. Oh no, no, we're fighting him off again. 
Uh, attack for like a lap because your tyres are getting cold and you can get past this car. Yes. Get past these uh, Esperankas. We need, we need to get into the points here. I'll go back to neutral for now. Condition's fine. Engelak going after Vidal. Makarova trying to make a move on uh, Kanjira, but Lungvis is behind her. Kanjira might slow one of us down. It's going to be us that get slowed down by her. That's not good. Pitting with you. Uh, no need to fuel fuel up. Engelak like, can keep going. This part this part of the grid is 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 doing my strategy. The the, the two stop. Long stints. Longer stints on the mediums. See the medium stint we might be able to get a bit more tire wear than we've got here. Because we won't be pushing as hard. That's no mistake. Macrover down into 18th. Long race on 20th with a better car. Although she's actually right behind Navarro. So if we can catch him up, we can fire him, slow him down, and we can get we can to try and get above him in, in points. Oh, that's Wilmot. We're, we're just passing him, and he's already pitted. It's a bit annoying. See, if we, we need a longer, a longer meet second stint. So we probably won't push as hard when we come out the gates. You're not getting past the are you? All right. You've got you've got space, so you're gonna push now because you've got clean air. But Wilmot's basically already won this race, really. Only Modi can really keep up with him at this point. How's Makarova doing? She's got a passive view. We're in the pits. That's good. Still ahead of Lungvis, which I'll take. Uh, for now, anyway. So, Vidal is pitting. Oh, we are fighting with. Wilmore's going to be so far ahead. It's insane. Oh, here comes uh, Engelhart. Engelhart. Here comes... Uh, mistake on the tyres, naturally. And that's actually going to put Makarova ahead of Engelhart on that mistake. Good job. But people are still to pit. Yeah, I'm not going to use team orders. Engelhart can deal with it. <laughs> I mean, he is pushing, so he should get past fine. As is, uh, that's not allow Vidal through. Alright, we'll fight you, Vidal. to our sponsor objective but not into the points see we're going to use Engelhardt to slow Vidal down and then get Makarova ahead of Vidal that's the idea although it's not going to work out Come on, get, get past the Makarova please Ever give up on that idea? Oh, God damn it, Engelart! You should be better than this. You got a better car, man. It's not even pushing. Right, push back. Push back. It's got the inside. Not gonna get past him. 
Here we go. This is where we can make some ground. Try and get the inside. He's not going to take it. Seventh and eighth. We're still second in the standings, even though this has been a piss poor race. Well, we should be up with them because of two second mistake. Is going to let us down? I pick crew again. I mean, it's just fixed to fuck you over. It really is. There's nothing more I can do with my pit crew. But the game's going to force mistakes because I'm doing well for my, for my uh, stature. Just one of those things. It's quite cheap in a way. I don't like it. I prefer the old system. <laughs> See, it doesn't. What sucks about it is that you can't see how bad the AI are affected by it. So if the AI have the same issue, then it becomes less of an issue, obviously. All right, you can attack, overtake. You're slowing us down now. We need to get by. Probably needs to pit soon and just lost the position. We are in the points, so we're getting some. <laughs> and Zerati has to pit again before the rest of us. Well, Esperanca, they're pitting. Attack overtake, because you're pitting next lap. Yeah, we're going to fuel up. <laughs> and Galat's setting a fast lap there, apparently. See, if Vidal's like catching us and he's not even pushing up back at all. We are catching Navarro. That's good. They're fighting each other, so that allows us to catch up and try and get ahead of both of them. So we're fueling up for the, for, for the rest of the race. So we might fall a bit further behind than you'd, than you'd expect. But the last pit stop should make up for it. One excess fuel. I'm going to come out in 18th. Almost getting lapped here. I want to get to like lap 25 of these tyres. Because I think Modi will have to pit again, so they're going to lose points. The Spirit are going to lose points. But the, the Navarro's pitting now, so is there Spirit pitting as well? Yeah, the, well, Mode is actually quite far ahead, but uh, Navarro's going to miss out. We can get ahead of him because he has to pit a game. But we only have to pit once, is the idea. So up into, th up into third for now. Makrova in 18. It's not been a good race for her, but. She doesn't have the smoothness for this track. Yeah, I know the one. But that was pushing, so he's not gonna. He's he's coming in now. I'm gonna go another lap. We will slow one more down again, which is always nice. I'm not going to fight it because I, I think he's yeah he's pitting. We're pitting next lap. So for a few seconds we will, we will be in first, which is nice. Right. 
Oh, 19 laps. These aren't gonna last, god damn it. We we'll have to go in in low mode. The looks of it. Modi and Wilmore fighting it out. Well, I'll just stick it on fast for now. There's no point. No mistake. Try and preserve these tyres until the end here. Did this before and we got over with that 0% tyre wear, so it's doable. Might as well speed it up. Uh, I suspect we'll be a bit off attacking and then going on to sauce at the end, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Ooh, but, oh, there's rain at the end. Oh, there's rain. Oh, screw that. There's, there's attack then. Well, not you, actually. You can serve because you need to last. It's like another five or six laps. Right, okay. The rain has actually helped us here. Because it's now meant we have to pit again. That's fine. That's handy. Well, I think it's going to be wet weather, proper wet weather tyres at the end of the race. Which is a problem for Makarova because she's just going to look the tight wear for it. Like, does she go on, on wet? She's gonna have to put it again. Right, you're gonna go on it onto inters. Because I don't think wets will last long enough, won't last enough laps. Oh god, I mean to pass that one. Right. Macrobas on Inters. No, oh, S Spirit. I'm gonna overtake us here because they are in first. So we need to we need to catch up to to the cars in front. Get past Navarro. See Navarro, the t this fight here determines second and third. It literally determines second and third as things stand. Oh yeah, suspension. Okay, she's out this race. I don't care about you. <laughs> Solon Hengelhart, so he's gonna crash. You just know it. That's what eleven laps. Oh, we'll keep attacking for now, anyway. Right, normal fallout to cool his tyres down. If we're lucky, people are going to Indus and not well, they're going to the wets. But they're doing it too early. They're doing it far too early, which is good for us. Crover's kind of misquid over by the weather. That's caught me off guard a bit. Right. Straight onto the wets. Feels fine. I'm 
for Engelhardt's going to get into first here. <laughs> and you're going to go straight onto the wets as well. <laughs> Attack over Tate, try and get past Modi because we can get second here. We can get second. Come on, get past, get past, get past. Nice. Yes. No. <laughs> this fight doesn't actually matter, but I want I kinda want second position. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. We'll match him. I didn't actually fix the suspension, but it's gonna last anyway. Keep attacking and hopefully the weather tires out. <laughs> yeah, ignore your suspension. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you crash out anyway. But first position's right. Is that no it's not, that's nineteenth. I got I got excited for a second. We'll keep going with Engel out, see if we can get into into second place. He's stopped with his uh, pushing his tires. We're gonna keep going because why the hell not? I mean, really, we should just conserve and just make sure we get third and he doesn't, he doesn't crash. So, last lap. I know, I'm giving you all the beans. He's going to make his move. Oh, nice. He's got to go into second place. So, Angle Art's somehow going to get second. I don't know how. One more is the champion, Chariot, deserving winners. Uh, they won the league, easily. But we do finish second overall. By some distance as well, so that's looking good for next season. Hangal out second in the championship. Couldn't get to one more. One more was too good. Chariot, their car just overpowered for this league. They would deservedly take their place in the World Motorsport Championship. And we will aim to follow. <laughs> The winner, Wilmar. Assuming he doesn't get disqualified. We can't get disqualified, there's no chance of rule break. Wilmar didn't. Did anyone get disqualified? Nope. Back over a bad race, but the weather kind of screwed it over. Yes, yeah, movement is terrible for that race. Hangalart getting second. Not bad at all. If he had a strong qualifying, he might have done some. <laughs> but Bulma got pole and never looked back. He had clean clean air the entire way through, and he's not stopping a chariot car who gets clean air right off the bat. It ain't happening. And Engelart's injured. So it's confirmed we get second position. Best of the rest. Toppled by Wilmore. Wilmore, we just could not stop. So Engelart must have given himself a whiplash or something. Dodgy neck. Yeah, fitness minus 10. Well, that won't be the case for next season if we keep him. And we should have gone for the sixth place because we'd, we'd, we'd lost out on, this, on the qualifying sponsor either way. But the world champion, well, the Euro, well, the Asia Pacific champion, is Darren Wilmore. And the team winners, Chariot Motor Group. That'll be us soon, I can assure you. We've got a good. We've got a good. Uh, Good chance next season.
And we jet that into view. Car repair complete. Well, I'll uh, improve what I can then. Yeah, that'll do. So Engelar, his contract is running out at the end of the season. I've got to decide do we keep him. I don't really want to, but I might have to. There's not a lot of good drivers out there. But that is for next season. I am the manager, obviously, of the, of the season. Naturally, Marcus Livingston gets promoted and then gets second position. Laura Ingledew gets driver of the year. I'm not sure how that's the case. Where she finish? Six. I think Engel should get it, really. <laughs> or even, like, Modi or Margaret or someone. Or even Wilmo, because he, he, he stormed the competition, really. And we do have one more. A crop to the prize money. Twenty-nine and a half million pounds. And we're loaded again. Get in there. We have got some sponsors missing, actually. We've got one. Um, but uh, that will end it for this season. I will do pre-season for next season. That will be season six, part one. Well, hopefully the team that's coming down won't be too strong because we can beat Espirit in a race. We've got the second best car on the grid. So if their car isn't better than Espirit, so we've got a good chance next season. That is a little premature to be fair. Uh, it was it was like a good five seasons, like each league five seasons. I think is a good plan. Uh, but if I if I do win promotion, I will take it. And go for broke. Because we're gonna have thirty seven million. We've got thirty seven million now. I'm gonna get. We're gonna get another like twenty odd million ish. I think for our target next season because it will be quite high. I mean, our staff are terrible. They're the worst apparently. The might look for a new mechanic as well. That's probably what's been causing our pit mistakes. It, it, his concentration is eight and pit stop is nine. That's prob probably it, to be fair. And we've lost our lead designer. What happened there? Where's that designer gone? Why did you leave? Oh, he's retiring. So we need we need a new designer, <laughs> right? Okay, that's 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 our first objective. <laughs> new designer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember that. I've not scouted any shite. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time with some more. Let's play Motorsport Manager of Livingston Motors. Yeah.